To perform this work, you'll need to safely raise and support the vehicle as well as remove the engine under trays. You're also going to need to drain some coolant from the radiator. You don't need to drain the system completely, just enough to get the level below the thermostat. The drain plug is located on the lower left side of the radiator, indicated by the red arrow. In addition, at the end, you're going to need to bleed your coolant system when you re-top it up. Please follow the link provided at the end of this video for additional assistance with all of those steps. If you have gone ahead and completely drained your coolant, use a flathead screwdriver and remove the lower radiator hose, red arrow. This will give you more room to work. Use a flathead screwdriver and separate the hose from the additional thermostat housing, yellow arrow. Next, use a 5mm Allen and make sure it is well seated and remove the two Allen screws, red arrows. The additional thermostat is located on the front right of the motor on the coolant pump. To work on it from above, you will need to remove the air box and the turbo to intercooler pipe. Again, please follow the link provided at the end of this video for additional assistance with those tasks. With the air box removed, use a flathead screwdriver and remove the hose from the additional thermostat housing, indicated by the red arrow. Next, use a 5mm Allen and making sure it is well seated in the bolts, remove the two bolts holding the housing in place. The bolts can get corroded over time and are very prone to stripping. If one strips, you should be prepared to use an easy out to remove it, red arrow. With the bolts off, remove the housing. There is a gasket between the housing and pump, red arrow. Make sure to replace this gasket every time you remove the housing. The additional thermostat will now just slip from the coolant pump, red arrow. The additional thermostat is just a mini version of a regular thermostat. Installation is the reverse of removal and do not over torque the two bolts. Now don't forget to refill and bleed your coolant system. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out another video in this series.